<laughs> Good afternoon. It's exactly two o'clock. We're engineers. We start on time and end on time. <laughs> Good afternoon, friends and family of our fall 2023 graduating class. I'm Bob Bishop, the Dean of the College of Engineering. On behalf of the faculty and the staff of the college, I welcome you to our induction into the profession ceremony. I wish each student success in their chosen career path, be it industry, graduate school, or academia. But remember, your education does not end with graduation. It's just beginning. I encourage you to stay in touch with the college and to come back to campus or attend an engineering event. Congratulations and much success to all of you. So now I would like to introduce Professor and Executive Associate Dean Sanjukta Banja, who will be the Master of Ceremonies today. Sanjukta. Good afternoon and a warm welcome to all of you and a hearty congratulations to all the graduates. May the engineering and computing mindset be with you always. To make this event more enjoyable for everyone, we ask that you put your cell phone on silent mode. I would also like to let you know that the ceremony is being recorded. To see this video later, you can visit College of Engineering's YouTube page. Photos from tonight's event will also be posted on our website for you to download. I would like to take this opportunity to thank electrical engineering faculty member, Dr. Alejandro Castellanos, Associate Professor of Instruction for the wonderful entertainment this evening that he and his band have provided. It is now my pleasure to introduce some of the academic officers in the College of Engineering who are with us today. As I call your name, please rise and remain standing until I have introduced everyone. I ask the audience to please hold their applause until all the officers have been introduced. Dr. Asim Gurdikan, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Mr. Bernard Batson, Associate Dean for Diversity and Inclusion. Dr. Vinay Gupta, Chair of Chemical Biological Materials Engineering Department. Dr. Manjrekar Gunaratne, Chair of the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. Dr. Sudip Sarkar, Chair of the Computer Science and Engineering Department. Dr. Chris Ferikidis, Chair of the Electrical Engineering Department. Dr. Tapas Das, Chair of Industrial and Management Systems Engineering Department. Dr. Rajiv Dubey, Chair of the Mechanical Engineering Department. Dr. Robert Frisina, Chair of the Medical Engineering Department. Dr. Mary Goodwin, Director of Engineering Student Service. Mrs. Carissa Gooden-Kauf, Chair of the USF Engineering Alumni Society. Please join me in a round of applause to recognize these college officers. I also want to recognize the many volunteers who made, make this event successful. Thank you for your commitment to our students and their families. Now we can proceed to the induction of our graduates. The engineering graduates will be inducted into the professional organization, the Order of the Engineer which was established in 1953. As part of the ceremony, they will receive a steel ring for their little finger of their working hand. The computer science, cybersecurity, and information technology graduates will be inducted into the pledge of the computing professional. As part of the ceremony, they will receive a pin signifying their dedication to the profession. To explain the history of the order of the engineer, it's my pleasure to introduce 
Assistant Professor of Instruction in Mechanical Engineering Department, Dr. Miguel Rodrigo. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Happy to be with all these engineers here, and happy to have the industrial department with us as well. <laughs> it's, all, it's all love. It's all love. Um, OK, let's proceed with the order, the history of the order, this year's special edition in a Spanish accent. I fake it really well. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's proceed. Egyptian pyramids, Roman aqueducts, I-275, today's medical diagnostic equipment, and tomorrow's journey through the stars. A legacy of engineering wonders is threaded through the history of humankind, each advance and accomplishment providing the foundation for and determining the future. A history of the order of the engineer is more than number crunching. It's a matter of life and death. In 1907, when engineering errors led to a Canadian bridge collapse that killed 75 construction workers, the profession's moral obligations were stark and obvious. Engineers increasingly realized that technical expertise was not enough. And in 1925, a group of Canadian engineers formally and publicly promised to uphold the highest ethical standards. To remind themselves of their pledge, they fashioned iron rings to be worn on the outer finger. For decades, engineers in the United States had no similar institution. Today, the stainless steel rings worn by the order's members are recognized throughout the world as the outward sign of an inward commitment to ethical engineering. This is the story of the order's origins and expansion. In 19, 1953, 27 years after its Canadian inception, there was discussion within the profession about establishing the order of the engineer in the United States. The correspondence and committee work continued until 1970, a groundbreaking year, when seniors at Cleveland State University made rings, wrote an obligation, and had the first US order of the engineer ceremony. The Florida Board of Governors approved and published a new code of regulations in 1974. The chapters are called Links of the Order of, Engineer, of Engineering, sorry. and the University of South Florida established its link in 1989. Currently, more than 500,000 engineers in 50 states have received the steel ring to wear on the small finger of the working hand to symbolize their belief in honesty and integrity in the services they perform. Basically, we're saying, Engineering was not created to provide paychecks. I think we could all remember that. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rodrigo. Next, Associate Professor of Instruction in Electrical Engineering, Dr. Alejandro Castellanos, will explain the significance of the order. This one here, and this is a great honor for me, and I mean, I first want to thank all my students for allowing me to be your faculty, because guys, I, I learn every day from you. And when you love your, your job the way I love my job, I mean, it's always a pleasure to be next to you. Thank you for trusting us, and again, thank you guys. So, after an Spanish accent thing, I'm going to do the Mexican one, right? Why not? All right? So, the purpose of the Order of the Engineer is to foster a feeling of pride in being an engineer and to still a dedication to ethics throughout the engineer's professional career. The Order is symbolized by the acceptance of an obligation, right? And wearing of a stainless steel ring on the little finger of the working hand. There are no meetings. Other than this ceremony, and there are no dues. As students, the obligation to which you will soon subscribe is a composite of several creeds emphasizing honesty and integrity, and acknowledging the work that your predecessors have done to gain the knowledge and skills that has been passed on to you during your years of college training. This accumulation of knowledge, which has been brought this far by others, is being passed on to you to carry even further before being passed on again to those who will be becoming alone behind you. The significance of what you are about to say and do might be summarized this way. I acknowledge my obligation as an engineer to bring honor to my profession, 
I will apply the golden rule and our code of ethics in all my professional and private dealings. And I acknowledge my obligation to be a giver to the better men of humor. The symbol of your desire to accept this obligation is the engineering ring. It will indicate to all who see it that you have publicly about your dedication to the honorable practice of engineering and to the public that your profession serves. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Castellanos. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ken Christensen, professor in the Computer Science and Engineering Department, to explain the history and significance of the pledge of the computing professional. Good afternoon to everyone here. Before we ask the initiates gathered here to obligate themselves to the pledge of the computing professional, we pause to consider the history of and motivation for this organization. The act of joining a profession in modern society is often accompanied by a rite of passage. This rite often involves the initiate pledging to act ethically and morally in the profession and receiving a visible symbol as a reminder of that pledge. In 2007, Individuals at the University of South Florida and Ohio Northern University created organizations for the graduates of their respective computing programs, sparking interest in other institutions. To meet the desire for a shared, wide-ranging organization similar in purpose to the Order of the Engineer, the Pledge of the Computing Professional was created by an international team of 17 computing professionals. The organization held its first induction ceremony in spring 2011 at USF, McNeese State University, Metropolitan State College of Denver, Ohio Northern University, and Oberlin College. Today, 73 institutions hold the pledge ceremony, including University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, Arizona State University, North Carolina State University, and University of Central Florida. Through this uh, ceremony, we foster professional pride, moral obligation, and ethical responsibility in all graduates of computing disciplines. The initiates who are present today will soon stand to take this pledge. After this ceremony, there will be no organizational meetings to attend, nor will there be any dues to be paid. However, members are expected to uphold the pledge and honor the computing profession. The certificate and the pin that each of our initiates receives today will serve as visible reminders of this promise throughout their professional careers. Encoded in the pin is a key word. It is up to you to decode the pin. Thank you, Dr. Christensen. Now it is time for all our engineering inductees this evening to recite obligation of an engineer. After this, the computer science, cybersecurity, and information technology inductees will recite the pledge of the computing professional. Will the engineering inductees only please rise and read the obligation of an engineer that is on your chair. We will recite the engineering obligation together. Ready? I am an engineer. In my profession, I take deep pride. To it, I owe solemn obligations. As an engineer, I pledge to practice integrity and fair dealings, tolerance and respect, and to uphold the devotion to the standards and the dignity to profession. Conscious always that my skills carries with it the obligation to serve humanity by making the best use of art's precious wealth. As an engineer, I shall participate in none but honest enterprises. When needed, my skill and knowledge shall be given without reservation for public good. In the performance of my duty and in fidelity to my profession, I shall give my utmost. Congratulations, you are inducted. Please be seated. Now, will only the computer science, cybersecurity, and information technology inductees 
Please rise and recite the Pledge of Computing Professional that is on your chair. I will recite it with you. I am a computing professional. My work as a computing professional affects people's lives, both now and into the future. As a result, I bear moral and ethical responsibilities to the society. As a common computing professional, I pledge to practice my profession with the highest level of integrity and competence. I shall always use my skills for the public good. I shall be honest about my limitations, continuously seeking to improve my skills through lifelong learning. I shall engage only in honorable and upstanding endeavors by my actions. I pledge to honor my chosen profession. Congratulations, you are inducted. Please be seated. It's now time for our inductees to receive their rings or pins. The students will come on stage as their department is called. Will Dr. Rajiv Dubey, Chair of the Mechanical Engineering Department, please come to the podium. Thank you. Good afternoon. <clears throat> on behalf of Mechanical Engineering faculty and staff, I would like to congratulate all the new graduates and their families. We wish the new graduates all the best in their new careers and endeavors. Uh, um, I think based on the data that just came out today, the unemployment rate is 3.7%, so it's a good time to graduate. <laughs> I would like to introduce our faculty um, who are present today, uh, and if Please uh, come stand by the stage when I call your name and stay by the stage to greet our graduates as they are inducted. Starting with Professor Kyle Reed, Professor Ajit Mujumdar, Professor Nathan Gallen, Professor Stuart Wilkinson, Professor Armand Sargolza, and on stage here, Professor and Associate Dean uh, Rasim Goldikan and uh, Professor Miguel Goni Rodrigo. Now I ask all mechanical engineering graduates to come forward and be inducted into the order of the engineer. Usama Altuaya. Solomon Albright. Samantha Artiaga. Amy Guevara Avila. Chaitanya Balusu. Bryce Bernard. Colin Bishop. Parker Coates. Tavon Crookshank. Tavon Crookshank. Tavon Crookshank. James Doyle. James Doyle. Ryan Duckett. Ryan Duckett. Bethany Egbert. Sarah Fellletter.
Tyler Figueroa. Alexander Gonzalez. Daniel Gula. Royce Gunter. Alexander Heed. Alan Hernandez. William Hutton. Ryan Imka. Gilberto Jaimes. Carlos Cras. Tan Lee. John Liebler. Valerie Lopez. Victor Lopez Cabrera. Matea Malberg. Samuel Martino. Shannon McLaughlin. William Medved. Jonathan Miller. Alexia Murray. Asia Wen. Chelsea Nichols. Carly Oldacre. <laughs> Melissa Ostrowski. Nathan Pettit. Angelica Solano Salgado. Patrick Thompson. Wang Tran. Reese Ulmer. Ashley Vargas. Austin Warner. Dylan Wofford Craddock. Caitlin Wolf. Fayek Zaman.
Full Dr. Manjrekar Gunaratne, Chair of the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department, please come to the podium. Good afternoon. I would like to introduce our, oh, sorry. I, I just have, no. sorry. I thought I had to read the same script, sorry. <laughs> uh, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, I wish to congratulate all the graduates, engineering graduates, of their successes and also achieve academic achievements. I also wish to, uh, I, I also wish you the best of luck in your professional endeavors. And don't forget to maintain communication with the College of Engineering at USF and, the department, and your respective departments. At this time, I would like to, before the induction starts, I, I would like to introduce all the faculty from our department, Civil and Environmental Engineering, who are present here. Dr. Zhu Zhang, please come and stand by the stage. Dr. Mike Stokes. Dr. Zachary Haber. Dr. Mahmoud Nachabe. <coughs> Dr. Hao Zhao. And Dr. Andres Tejada. Also, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our academic services administrator, Marina Pospelova, who helped us with the organization. Thank you. Cameron Aguilar. <laughs> Ibrahim Abalushi. Tana Campbell. Samuel Coleman. Claudia Stefania Davila Hidalgo. Joseph Edgecombe. Mitchell Hamilton. Abdul Wahab Harmoush. Samora Jean-Louis. <laughs> Mutsa Carissa. <laughs> P.A. Kyo. Dalton Lefebvre. <laughs> Daniel Loney. <laughs> Vicente Modica Mendelssohn. Ismail Mohammed. <laughs> Jessica Starr. Well, 
Dr. Robert Frisina, Chair of the Medical Engineering Department, please come to the podium. Good afternoon and welcome to our faculty, staff, our graduates, their families, and their guests. Medical engineering is an innovative, bold department, so we are going to do something a little different. Part of it is in honor of our high-impact dean, Robert Bishop. He likes engineering events to start and end on time. So, in that spirit, we have chosen one graduate of biomedical engineering to represent all of our fall graduates. <laughs> He's one of our top students. And when you're toasting your graduate at dinner later, please remember that we got you there sooner because we'll only have one graduate <laughs> walking across the stage. No pressure, Ryan. Will all the faculty and staff of the Department of Medical Engineering please rise? I will introduce them and ask them to come up to congratulate Ryan. Dr. Clara O'Hannis, our department administrator. Dr. Kamiak Ntui, Professor Mark Jaruzewski, Professor Zuhail Zekri. One word of advice, one of my favorite words, persistence. And please know that our faculty and staff in medical engineering are always there for you as you go out into the real world. Ryan Fosnott. Vinay Gupta, Chair of Chemical, Biological, and Materials Engineering Department, please come to the podium. Good afternoon, colleagues, staff, students, and their guests. On behalf of the Department of Chemical, Biological, and Materials Engineering, we'd like to offer all of you who are graduating our congratulations. We know you have worked hard to get to this point and uh, lots of big things await you. We look forward to hearing about all the accomplishments and learn about them to see how you grow. At this point, I'd like to introduce Professor John Kuhn from our faculty who is here, Associate Chair for Graduate Undergraduate Studies. And we also have two of our staff members here, so I'd like to introduce them, Ms. Jill Shroff and Ms. Yvette Blanchard. And uh, our graduating students are already lined up. So congratulations to chemical engineering students. Siri Nigam Compelli. Michael James Lim. <laughs> Susanna Persaud. <laughs> Muskan Punjabi. <laughs> Sahar Zanuzi. Dr. Tapas Dash, Chair of the Industrial and Management Systems Engineering Department, please come to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Banja. 
Good afternoon, and once again, congratulations to all the graduates. Uh, hope you had fun going to the degree program here, or programs for some. So, but uh, just so you know that it was the fun part, right? So now you're gonna go out in the profession and fight it out. Who are you gonna fight with? Georgia Tech, Berkeley, Purdue, Illinois, but you are the best. You are the best. Go out every morning with a nice shirt and dress, whatever it is, and know that I'm gonna beat my colleagues today. <laughs> Not literally, okay? <laughs> All right, so uh, just like biomedical engineering, we have a, unlike biomedical engineering, we have a huge number of graduates. We couldn't have brought them all here today. So we have done a very sophisticated statistical sampling, and we have a few winners, okay? Those who are here today. And we will be uh, putting the rings on them. But before that, I would like to call my colleagues. Uh, we had a long faculty meeting this morning, so I don't know how many of them have made it here today. I can see uh, Dr. Michael Wang here, Dr. Mingyang Li, Dr. Ankit Shah, Dr. Trung Lei and uh, Dr. Jamie Chilton. Okay, and Dr. Kai Soon Hua, he's a brand new faculty member. I think that's all we have here today. So, congratulations on more time. Okay? Saketh Chenna. Chaya Chowdhari. Murali Krishna Dasari. Anusha Naka. Nag Nishita Senkuri. Luis Isaza. Vicente Cuaristi. <laughs> Jose Luan Suarez. <laughs> Valentina C. Mao. Niraj Kumareddy Chintam. <laughs> Naveen Kumar Sriram. <laughs> Achut Puta. Dinesh Naidu Thota. <laughs> Bramaya Mulamuri. <laughs> Mohammed Rahil. Jinkaya Zan Zain Manadeep Mali Mr. 
Will Dr. Chris Perikidis, Chair of the Electrical Engineering Department, please come to the podium. Uh, on behalf of our faculty and staff, I would like to welcome all of our students, our graduates, their family and friends today, and to our graduates, uh, congratulations. And a special thanks to my favorite group as they walk by the stage. Thanks for your hard work and perseverance, guys. Um, I would like to thank our staff who are here today and every day helping us, Amy and Diana. Diana, I don't know where you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. And now, <clears throat> I would like to introduce our faculty. I would like to ask you folks to please stand up so I don't miss anyone this time. <laughs> As I call your name, please come stand by the stage and stay to greet our graduates. Professor Steve Saddow, Professor Dan Levy, Professor Sankar, Professor Morino, Professor John, Professor Takshi, Professor Yusal, Professor Fan, Professor Chen, all right, Alejandro. Did, I, I, I know, is Alejandro still here? He left, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> and on our stage here, um, our Dean, Dean Bishop, and our Executive Dean, uh, Professor Banja. Deborah Adipiti. Tunzib Hassan. <laughs> Al Mutasim Al Abri. <laughs> Joseph Brockett. Christian Dutescu. Tyler Evans. Michael Foster. Mikkel Holmquist. <laughs> Kenny McKinney. <laughs> Kevin Wynn. Min Win Priyank Patel Vrisha Panchal Dan Pham. <laughs> Nicholas Potes. <laughs> Alonso Rivas Ortiz. Anu Sivana Rayana Saipuredi. <laughs> S 
Steve Sheehy. Thrupti Shetty. Stephen St. Serin. Lakshmi Sujanya Terumalusetti. David Walker. Neha Wasim. Tyler Wright. Fenghao Zhang. Will Dr. Sudeep Sarkar, Chair of Computer Science and Engineering Department, please come to the podium. Hello. Let me look up, the, where is the chat GPT script here? <laughs> oh, I cannot find it. Well, hello, thank you all for coming. Computer science, cybersecurity, computer engineering, and IT graduates. Uh, congratulations to you and to your family. This is a great achievement. When you applied for to come to USF, you know, you ticked off a button that said USF University of South Florida. And then we came here, you started doing your calculus courses, then your programming courses, algorithms, and you realize that USF means you stay forever. <laughs> and now you realize that's not true. As you go out into the real world, you'll realize USF stands for you shape the future. So congratulations. So I'd like to welcome our faculty who are here with us to congratulate you, to rise and, and come here. Uh, if you could all, all stand up so that I don't miss anybody. Uh, Jean Kim, Professor Jean Kim, Professor Chanel Small, Professor Julie Woodward, Professor John Licato, Professor John Templeton, Professor Ryan Abdul Bate, Professor Yusun, Professor Mauricio Pamplona Segundo, Professor Akarmani, Professor William Hendricks, Professor Christensen, and Professor Fang. And we also have a staff member, Terry Fox, who is helping you here. So thank you. Will our computer science and engineering graduates, cybersecurity and IT graduates, please come forward and be inducted into the pledge of the computing profession? Mohammed Abdel Malik. Omar Al Kawalde. Tuon Ho. Mahin Khan. Kanan Lakibram. Vu Lee. Brendan Martinson.
Carlos Jose Sousa Santos. Samuel Adams. Jennifer Adorno. Mohammed Al Kindi, <laughs> Stephen Ali, <laughs> On Ashruf. Nicole Atanasio. Christopher Batts. Stephanie Borja. Noah Brady. <laughs> Dustin Carmelo. <laughs> Anushka Chinoy. <laughs> Kyle Swick. Jonathan James. Jordan Jolliffe. Nina Kamath. Antonio Lavergetta Jr. Van Din Lee. Zachary Levinson. Piyush Manjhi. Hope Marcus. Julia Martins. Matthew Meeks. Asim Mishra. Pedro Musi. Jesus Naranjo. Brandon Narvaez. Pratul Nupain. Delilah Wynn. Robert Peterson.
Christopher Reuter. Nassim Sheikh. Parker Scobie. Dylan Skrosnik. Kevin Tran. Kiara Vasquez. Stephen Dawkins. At this time in the program, we would like to recognize those students who have performed their academic duties exceptionally well. Every semester, a faculty of each department consider undergraduate nominees for the Outstanding Student Award in an academic program. To receive this award, the student must have stellar academic performance as well as meaningful involvement in the professional activities of the department and of the college. As I call your name, please come forward to the stage to receive your certificate from Dean Bishop and have your photos taken. Civil Engineering, Tana Campbell. Environmental Engineering, Cameron Aguilar. <laughs> Electrical Engineering, Ryan Shia. Okay. Mechanical Engineering, Angelica Solano Salgado. Mechanical Engineering, Patrick Thompson. <laughs> Industrial Engineering, Jose Lujan Suarez. Medical Engineering, Ryan Pasnath.
Computer Science, Chao Nguyen. No? Okay. Computer Engineering, Omar Al Khawalde. Technology, Nina Kamat. Security and in Gwen. Congratulations to each of you. Congratulations. Here's one other group that we would like to honor this evening. Would all the graduates please rise and face the audience. spouses and other loved ones in the audience, a hearty congratulations to all of you. Okay. Please, please take your seats. Okay. Before we close our ceremony this evening, I welcome each of you into your chosen profession. We are proud to have you join the ranks of USF College of Engineering alumni. At this time, please welcome the Chair of the USF Engineering Alumni Society, Carissa Gudenkoff. Thank you. Big, big, big moment. Um, on behalf of the thousands of engineering alumni, we want to welcome you into this community. Um, we're thrilled to have you join us. Engineering is a challenging and rewarding field, as you know, the amount of knowledge and skills that you've picked up so far, it's only going to get even more from here. So exciting stuff coming. Um, similar to your college experience, but there's a lot more freedom and a lot more non-engineers around that you get to interact with. So it's a little bit different. Uh, know that you are not alone in this journey. You're not meant to be alone. Uh, we're here for you. Um, I did find myself in 1995, yes, I'm uh, twice the age of majority of the graduates that are here, uh, but I found myself in 1995 uh, graduating as a chemical engineer and actually staying in the Tampa area, which not a lot of my colleagues stayed here. So it was a little bit tough, and I'm glad that I had the Engineering Alumni Society to kind of reach out to and help me with that big transition. Uh, use it for your own uh, worth. It helps you stay out of the, um, or get out of that work bubble that's going to kind of get created. You had a college bubble, now you're going to have a work bubble that's going to be there. But um, know that any time that you reach out of that, that we will be here for you. I encourage you to take advantage of our networking events and our workshops that we have. Uh, connect to this community when you feel stuck. Maybe when you're questioning what your career path really should have been, it is going to happen to you at least once in your career that you'll start questioning, why am I here? What am I doing? Um, be prepared for it. Or join us if you just want to celebrate an accomplishment that you've made. Um, you can join us because a lot of, uh, you'll at least have one person that will understand what that accomplishment is when you explain it to them. 
Uh, just know that you've already completed the application. Your diploma that you've earned has brought you into the Engineering Alumni Society and the overall USF Alumni Association in general. Uh, membership is complimentary and automatic. You just have to keep your email address updated with us. So when you switch off of that USF one, definitely stay connected so we can stay connected with, with you. Um, and when you're ready, uh, give of your time and your talent back to the college to help strengthen it even more than we've done. Um, there are so many alums that are out there that you've met that have come back to the college. Wouldn't it be amazing to be able to do that for the students that are coming after you? So welcome to the society and uh, go Bulls. Thank you, Carissa. Uh, before we finish, if you would like to exchange your ring for a different size, please go to the ring table on stage after we dismiss. Okay. Thank you for joining us, students. Be well and do well. On behalf of Dean Bishop and the faculty and staff of the College of Engineering, we wish you a peaceful holiday season. It has been a privilege to be your MC. Thank you and congratulations.